And so focusing in on breast cancer, I want to talk about the breast cancer screening recommendations. And so this is um, for average risk women. And you would think that maybe there was agreement across all of the different guidelines or expert panels. And I'll have to say there are some subtle differences. And so I've come shown you here three different guidelines that are available um, recommending um, breast cancer screening. The first is the US Preventative Services Task Force or USPSTF. They recommend a, a mammogram every other year for women aged 50 to 74 and an individualized decision for mammograms between age 40 and 49. The National Cancer Center Network, with a, which is another group that issues guidelines, recommends annual screening mammograms for all women over the age of 40 years old. And the American Cancer Society has a more complicated recommendation. They recommend women between age 40 and 44 the, have the option to start annual mammograms, but then between age 45 and 54, the women, women should have an annual mammogram. And then after age 55, they should have either an annual or every other year mammogram. And so you can certainly see that there are some differences, but overall, the, all of these guideline groups recommend starting um, screening in mam with mammograms somewhere between age 40 and age 50. And many women will start to um, ask, okay, is a mammogram enough? And I think that this is an important um, consideration here. And so one question is whether or not you should get a breast ultrasound for screening. And, and this is a question that we hear often. Breast ultrasounds are really used if a woman has a concerning finding on a mammogram or if there's a lump or other finding on a breast exam or self-exam that is concerning. And so this is a um, reason to have a breast ultrasound. However, screening ultrasounds in average risk women without one of these abnormalities or concerning findings are not typically um, a useful way to screen for breast cancer. So I also want to talk a little bit about how we're doing in the U.S. in terms of getting women to have their breast screening mammograms. And this, um, this <clears throat> table looks at cancer screening among different groups within the U.S. And I think what you can see importantly, if we focus on this first column, these other columns look at other cancer screening, but the breast cancer screening really varies depending on different groups within the U.S. based on race and ethnicity, based on household income, education level, healthcare coverage, and even sexual orientation. And so I think this is really demonstrating that we have room for improvement in the U.S., um, in addition to globally, for really improving our uptake of cancer screening for mammograms in particular for breast cancer. <clears throat> 